the video shot on board on the flight deck during yesterday's ascent. The video that uh, started a bit for us uh, yesterday. We'll now uh, get a look at the entire thing. Commander Steve Frick is uh, out of frame to the right. Pilot Alan Poindexter out of frame to the left with Mission Specialist Rex Walheim in the center of the frame and to his right, in the upper left-hand portion of our view, Mission Specialist Leland Melvin. They are on the flight deck of Atlantis on the ground at the Kennedy Space Center yesterday and uh, standing by for uh, launch, which should be quite plain to the viewer as uh, the crew members uh, begin to shake. Atlantis is airborne. You see the uh, sunlight move across the inside of the flight deck, coming in through the windows. We also saw the broad smiles on the faces of mission specialists Leland Melvin and Rex Walheim as the main engines ignited. Eastern Atlantis for PGSC. Go ahead. Hey, Steve, before I uh, shut any more computers down to conserve power, I'm just wondering which machines you actually need up and running right now to pull data off of. Yeah, we'll get that plan to you in just a sec. Okay, thanks. We're looking at a live replay of video that was uh, shot yesterday. Our world map, RPOP2, wind decom, and wing leading edge for the overnight case. Although, if you did turn all those off, we would like you to run KFX on RPOP as a backup. Okay, so uh, wing leading edge, world map, and 
Power Pop 2 are the ones you do not need. Did I get that right? Yeah, we don't. We also do not need wind decom. You may have a different plan, but uh, from from the ground's point of view, that's the score. Okay, so it sounds like we want to leave our pop uh, going and KFX in the OCA, obviously, and we'll run a spare copy of KFX on the our pop machine. Will that work? Yeah, that'd be great. You could also run a spare copy of KFX on the world map and leave that up, but I think you understand the plan. We just need another version of it running. Okay, I got you. Thanks very much. Thanks, Steve. While Commander Steve Frick and spacecraft communicator Steve Robinson discuss the setup of the uh, computer network on board Atlantis, we're getting a chance to watch the scene on the flight deck of Atlantis during yesterday's launch. Flight engineer Rex Walheim, prominent in the center of the view. Also uh, in the back row next to him is flight engineer Leland Melvin. Commander Steve Frick's right shoulder and arm are visible in the lower right-hand portion of this screen. Pilot Alan Poindexter's left shoulder and arm are in the lower left portion of our view. We should be uh, coming up on main engine cutoff eight and a half minutes into the flight uh, within the next minute or so. Atlantis Houston timeline question. Are you go for uh, on time BMC? Yeah, it's from Steve. I'll be ready. So will we. Enjoying a replay of the view on Atlantis's flight deck during yesterday's launch with uh, Commander Steve Frick uh, partially visible on the right, Pilot Alan Poindexter partially visible on the left, and uh, Mission Specialist Rex Walheim in the center, Leland Melvin to his right, and the uh, crew members are just about to uh, reach the point where the main engines cut off. It's at that point that uh, they and we watching will begin to see items floating in the crew cabin as uh, the main engines cut off and Atlantis is in space. For the FCMS checkout. Go ahead, Dex. Yeah, that, uh, that procedure is complete and the file should be on the KFX machine. Thanks, Dex. We'll go get it. <laughs> 